Welcome to Pour Some Syntactic Sugar on Me. Hey, I'm Eric, and I do apologize to all the Def Leppard uh, fans out there uh, for totally misusing their the title uh, in, in this video. Um, there is a concept called syntactic uh, sugar when it comes to development, when it comes to programming, and it's all about making the language easier to to read easier to write uh, but not really changing the fundamentals of it and we kind of had that with al um, so al has this weird syntax uh, where it kind of looks like it's object oriented but we don't really we, we have something we call objects but that is something completely different that's like just our our definition of everything uh, it is is it's not like we have a base report and then we have an uh, the report that has been in, inherited from the base and, and and stuff like that. So it's not true object model, but we do have um, syntax that kind of looks that way, um, and and sometimes it um, you you have to decide what kind of how you want to write your code um, and. Um, I was just last night or the other day, whenever last night, I think um, I was um, like, actually, let me show what I was doing. I was working on the next version of, of BCCL, my tool, and um, I had a table and let's just, let's quickly create a table here. Uh, my table, my sugar table, how about that? Um, and that clearly had a primary key, of course, and perhaps a description because that's, that's always good to have on a table. 200 apparently. Um, see that, you no, know, that's a good table right there. Um, and, and if we make it large enough so you can actually see what goes on, then it's a really good table. So. Let's say I, I need to create a, a method on this uh, this table. Um, we do that with procedure test, and we're and we're good to go. Um, so, but let's say that this because it, it it it's a good principle that if if you create a function that is related to the the table uh, the record, well put the function on the objects, uh, on the table object, on the table, so it's available. Um, so if if we have a, and I'm just gonna, you know, break all the rules, because that's how we fly today. So here is my sugar test down here. So, well, let's actually go with trigger. No, I'll create a procedure. That that it's called test test. Um, and in here, I'm going to create a variable of. Uh, let's call it sugar. Why not? My sugar table. Okay, so down here I can go sugar. Dot my function, so sugar.test. Um, but what, the, what does that mean? Well, let's, um, let's let's start by doing something and let's add a variable here. Sugar, which is my sugar table. And and here I could say that the sugar dot description equal hello. And if I'm actually gonna be very clever, I'm gonna do it. This as a bar thing. So, in order to access this function up here, I would have to go like this. So at this point down here, message uh, sugar dot description would have hello in it. Um, and, and and this function is 
portable. Uh, means that I could remove this and say, okay, let's put it down here. And and just call it here. And, and this one did not change a bit. So this function is self-contained. But let's undo and go back. But here's the point I'm in. I could create a different version of this one. So I could create a version of this function again. And I'm just going to use overloading because I can. And then here I do have rec. So I could do description equal hello too. So how would that work? Well, in this case, if instead of calling this as a parameter, I now it's just a sugar dot test. So what is rec in this case? Well, rec will be this variable. So so in in reality, this function would be the same as if I did did like this. So these two functions, and now it, it's gonna get mad at me because I have an overload that looks the same up here. So let's get a, go away with that. So these two functions are the same. So you would say, but hang on, Eric, now you have two versions of rec because you have a rec, but you also have a, a local one. But if you're a subscriber to the channel, you would have just recently seen a video on scoping. So you would know that this one is actually closer to you. So this one will be the one that is addressed here. You can see there's, there's a difference in, uh, in how this is highlighted. This is now, let's call it orange. Uh, and this one is white. So because this one is, is, a, is a parameter that came into a parameter that came into the function. Um, so if we forget this one, what this one in reality is, is a syntactical, syntax, syntactic, uh, <laughs> that's a hard word to say, by the way, um, version of this. So, so we get the implicit rec uh, parameter into the function. Um, and, and, and this works just as fine as, as, as this one, but it's just a different way of expressing the syntax. Uh, and you could say that this one is way cleaner and I do not disagree. It also works on that specific record and sometimes that's an advantage, sometimes that's a, a disadvantage depending on, on what you're doing. Um, but I, I, and I guess this is the, 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 the message of the, uh, of the video is that you have to decide. Um, and, and, and going back to why, why I was thinking about this the other day. So I have suddenly in PCCL, I had to clone something. Uh, I will not tell you what the something is, but there's a new exciting version of PCCL coming out soon with some very cool things in it. Um, and I have to, the, the stuff that needs to be cloned in a certain scenario. So I, I, I found myself writing a, a, uh, so let's do new sugar. My sugar table. So I had to do something like new sugar equal reg and then new sugar primary key equal increment string reg dot primary key new sugar insert. That's, that's a very short version. Um, and then I would actually want to uh, I'm not allowed to do var here, I think. That makes no sense. 
Uh, no, I'm just. This, this is what I want to do. I've been out in the sun all day. I have also been drinking beer, so my typing is. This is what I wanted to do. Um, but I, I wrote this function so close to this one, and then right next to it, I had something, and, and it was not called wreck, it was called something, something else. Um, and then I was looking and so, said, hang on, Eric, you can't mix those. You, you got to gotta be consistency what you do here. Uh, and and I I have to you know I gotta make a decision. Am I am I one syntax style? Or am I not a syntax style? You cannot mix it on the same object. That would just be messy. Um, so I had to make up my mind, and I actually went with this one because I think the code. Uh, so. So I could do new here and then my sugar table and then I can do new sugar equals sugar dot clone. Um, I think that that looks nice. But that, that's, a, uh, that's a nice piece of syntax uh, in this case. But going back that this is just, it is the same thing. There's no difference in how it's done. It's only a difference in how it visu is visually written, uh, how you read it. Um, and in some cases, there's an advantage to this, other cases, there's a, a, a disadvantage. Um, so I thought I would share that with you. Um, and the message is, you, know, you have the option, make sure you know how, understand how the rec part actually works, uh, and then decide what you want to do. But uh, don't go mixing it. Um, and when you got that, then check this one out. There's other great AL hacking uh, tricks in this video. Uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.